How are we doing? Okay, back in the division against a really, really good Baltimore uh, defense, I mean, defensive team and offensive team and special team. This is a really good team that's going to be coming to First Energy Stadium. Uh, this will be another big challenge for us. Um, but our football team's always up to the challenge. You know, again, uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a, a big time division game here this weekend. So we got to get ready. It's a good day of work. Good to have a lot of guys back out there. Obviously, uh, Tyrod was full goal today. His back's feeling a lot better. Burgess's knee did not practice. Neither did Demarius Randall with the heel, Antonio Callaway knee, and Jarvis Landry with the knee. They couldn't go today, but I feel good about at least three or four of those guys having a chance to be back this weekend before the week's out. So we'll see how it turns out during the rest of the week. Uh, we need them all back out there competing and playing, and hopefully we'll get these guys back. But uh, other than that, I think we're pretty healthy and excited about playing. Tyrod to be your two this week. Yes, I do. Talk about the injured receivers, Jarvis and Antonio. Um, what's that level of optimism that they can go through? I have a, a, a great level of optimism. I feel good about them. When you talked about Antonio on Monday, maybe cutting back on his game mm -hmm. reps, does that mean more for Streeter, more for Ratley? Yeah, I mean, however that falls out based on game plan, it will. Oh, I had a career while after the Super Bowl, it seems like he might be back now. What uh, what happened that caused the career slump, and uh, what's going on this year? I can tell you um, what a, the career slump. I'm not there, so uh, I just know he's playing good. You know, Joe's always, in my opinion, been a good player. Um, been their quarterback for a long time. Was the quarterback when I was there, so he's been there a lot of a lot of years. You know, so he's got a lot of experience, knows how to play. I think he's leading their team. They're three and one. They're playing good. The fact that uh, you were starting a uh, rookie quarterback in year one uh, with Joe, I mean, uh, do you, uh, you know, consciously think back uh, to those times uh, for some reference points? Oh, I do. I mean, there's a couple things, you know, no two players are the same, but sometimes the situations were the same. So I can always uh, look back on things, not so much about him. I've had rookie quarterbacks here, you know, so we just kind of learn. There's some things that, you know, you learn to do and learn not to do. So. We work through those as a staff with our with our quarterbacks, and and again, uh, keep Baker moving forward. What have you seen from Desmond Harris in these last couple of weeks? And you touch on the, the tough task he's got this week with with Sucks. No, he's getting better. He's gotten better over the last couple of weeks, you know. Uh, but again, this is a tall task. You know, you're talking about Terrell Suggs, arguably one of the best players in this league. So uh, it's going to be a, a a real challenge for him. But again, I think our guys are up to the challenge. Uh, Desmond. I, one, I think the game has slowed down for him a little bit. Two, I know there hasn't been the penalties that started, you know, the first game through the second game, and then those things have kind of disappeared. Uh, obviously got a holding call last week, but I, I thought that was a, a good play by him, you know, when I watched the tape. So I think he's improving. I think he's getting better every week, and he's continuing to do so. You said Monday in regards to the two-point two conversions that you're, you're done coaching behind your back. You want to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it based on analytics or your no. personnel? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with analytics. It has to do with personnel and feel and practice and the things we do in practice. I feel good about uh, those opportunities when we take them that we got a good chance to make them. You know, you call Carlos Hyde your bell cow and he's your number one back, but is there anything else that's holding Nick Chubb back? From no, more carries? just got to give him more carries. I mean, there's nothing holding him back. I mean, we just stick him out there. We're going to do a better job of making sure that he's got a series or two and each half and go from there. But Nick, uh, Nick Chubb's going to carry the ball. But you said it, Carlos High is a starter, and he's going to carry the ball too. And then in, the, in the return game, I, I know a couple years ago you gave Duke Johnson a look. I'm sorry? Return. You gave Duke Johnson a look in the return game a few years ago. Kick return, right. punt return. Is that something you would consider again? I'll consider anything. I think it's going to make us better. You know, I think uh, we're looking at everything. You know, we did some things today, worked through some things. I think um, we're going to do everything we can to get offense, defense, and special teams better. Do you have to help out more with special teams? Do you, huh? have, to, do you have to dig in a little bit more with special teams to try to get them? To I'm, I'm going to dig in everywhere. I, I just am. I mean, I, as a head coach, I, I have that opportunity to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Look at Jabril. Not only is a returner, but also on defense. It doesn't seem like he's had maybe the impact that he's looking for so mm -hmm. far. Why do you think that is, and are you still hopeful that he can get where you think oh, he will? I, 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 there's no question in my mind he'll get there. I think he got a little dinged in the game last week, you know, and that's what took him out of a lot of plays last week. So I think after the the punt catch where the guy ran into him, I mean, it kind of took him out of the game. 
uh, he, he was down for quite a while. He was only there for an emergency situation. So I think that's what that is. I think Jabril's did some good things, and uh, he's got to continue to improve. We've played one quarter of the season, you know, so uh, we got a lot of football left to play. So I think he's going to have a huge impact before it's all said and done. But, um, special teams have contributed to every loss. Those are games that you don't get we better. we got to get better. Don't get to talk about more than that. we got to get better. You said you do everything you can. That's what I'm doing. Could consider making a coaching change? No. no. I don't think I need to do that. I think I need to take my experience that I've had and, and use it and uh, go over there and help as I can, get other coaches on the staff and help and uh, see if we can get better. On some of those uh, return situations where there's a, a flag, uh, do guys need to be coached to be, uh, you know, I, I would recognize as a fine line, but do they have to be coached to be more careful? I don't think the word's careful. I think just doing the fundamental things you know, and not making and understanding what's going to cause a penalty. Sometimes, and being very honest with you, maybe those aren't penalties that, that are um, laid on, you know, the flags on the ground. And sometimes they are. You know, we got to do the fundamental part of it better. Get our hands in the right spot, get our bodies in the right spot so that we don't come close to having a chance to get a call in those situations. So how, how will that manifest itself? You kind of digging in everywhere and trying to get this thing turned around what what are you doing that's my job I've been in every meeting from special teams the defense the offense and uh, my focus is on cleaning up the things that we need to clean up and get better at so it starts with me uh, down through our assistant coaches and that's what we're going to do we're going to get it better is there anything Josh Cribbs can do to help more on special teams oh no he is he's doing his part you know I think Josh has got to play his part um, and I think he's done that we just got to continue to get better up the personnel is there only so much you can do no we shake it we can shake it up i mean i there may be some things you see different this weekend you know i can't give all those secrets away today so uh, but we're going to do what we think we need to do to get better you consciously break the season into uh, quarters yes from that standpoint what's the plan for the next quarter then have you actually get better we got we got to catch up now i mean we've dug a little hole you know we've had some chances we think some opportunities to win some games that we didn't um, there's some other plays we felt we should have made that we didn't. So we feel like our back's against the wall a little bit. We need the second quarter. We got we to gotta get going and play better football and get some wins. I mean, is this like a mindset sort of thing where if the record's not we won after one quarter, you can kind of flush and say, hey, guys. Yeah, move on to the next quarter. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's important. I think you got to go take this thing, and that's the way I've done it. I think it's important for the players to be able to not look too far ahead, too far behind. Let's look at right now. Is the next quarter of the season. We got four games, starting with Baltimore this week. The most important thing we have is the Baltimore Ravens this week, and then after that, we'll worry about the next game in the quarter the next week. And that's how we go about it. You talked with John uh, about trying to maybe find a return specialist out there somewhere. John's always searching, always looking to, to make the football team better. I'm, I'm very uh, confident in that. You, on Monday, you mentioned Damari's playing on one foot. And we talked to him today, and he said, you know, it's really bugging him, but he's fighting through. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you kind of find that balance between we should play him through, he should play through it versus if we sit him down for a little bit, maybe he's better and gets back to 100%. No, because we understand he's not going to hurt it anymore. You know, he's not going to hurt it any more than what it's hurt. You know, and he can play with pain. That's what he's done uh, the last couple of weeks and done some good things in those last couple of weeks. So, um, I mean, we don't want to take two interceptions off the field. You know, we don't want to do that. Um, and he's made some some huge plays for us and covered some guys. Even, you know, 80% Demarius Randall is, is is really good for our football team. So I think that's important. He said it's frustrating on knowing there's other plays he could be making. You see that? Oh, he yeah. I can see that. I can see the frustration in him. But, I mean, I just appreciate that he's fighting through it and doing it. Hopefully, you know, the type of injury he has, I think eventually it just kind of goes away. Uh, and he's handled it well, and he's done everything for his football team, and I appreciate that. Good. Thank you. Sorry, um, I'm reporting for Japan, and they would like to know more about Baker. Uh, what does he bring to this team, both on and off the field, and what sets him apart from other quarterbacks in this franchise? Well, I, I think um, he's a starting quarterback. You know, he was the first pick of the draft, uh, so he's very talented. Um, we think he has the, the makeup that we look for, and at that position, uh, we think he's still got a ways to go, still growing each and every week. Um, but he's um, demonstrating the ability to pass the ball, to lead a team. Um, obviously, we've got some turnover things we need to clean up. Uh, I think he's turned into a leader both on the field and off the field. I think the players kind of look to him 
And I think that's important. You know, he just he kind of has that charisma, and I think it's a good thing.